Hi everybody, um, haven't been talking to you in the last week or so, so I wanted to send you a video to just walk through some of the work that's been sent out to you. So um, Irene has sent out a load of worksheets on this lesson plan to you this week. Um, Angelique and I talked through some of it last week in the class. Um, there was nobody in the class this week, so hopefully I'll get to chat to some of you next week. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what's in this because there's a fair bit in it. I also want to show you where I'm going with it and why I'm asking you to do all of it. So um, hopefully you got on okay with the um, worksheets from the last uh, week or two. Let me just move this over Oops, so I can scroll up and down so you can see where I'm talking about. Give me a second here. Okay, there we go. Um, so if I go back up here, this is all the stuff that we covered in the first two weeks. Okay, uh, about decimal and fraction, uh, decimal and percentage, percentage and decimal, percentage and fraction conversions. Okay, so that was really just to practice that and get back to the hang of it if you'd forgotten how to do it. Um, the other thing that I had asked people to look at was the exponents. So this part here, and we were using um, the Master Phone website as an explanation. And then I was asking you to go to through the Khan Academy videos and exercises because they really are very good and give a good explanation of what exponents are. OK, so that was the last um, the first two weeks, I should say. Um, here we were just relating them back to actually this is where we see squared. So to the power of two and when we're calculating area and then uh, for calculating volume, you've got one, two, three dimensions. So it's to the power of three. OK, so and uh, just everyday examples of where we use exponents. Just trying to move this down a bit now. I'm moving me and the camera instead of the, uh, the document. All right. Uh, let me just scroll down here a bit. Um, so you went as far as um, squares with uh, Khan Academy as the first part of that. OK, now, so coming back to um, fractions for this week and next week, I um, just want to continue what we've been working on. Um, you will get two uh, worksheets called Percent Convert 1 and Percent Convert 2 uh, in the, the pack of worksheets that I've sent on to you. This is what they look like. There is decimal to percent conversion, percent to decimal, decimal to fraction, and so on. Convert fraction to decimal, fraction to percent, convert percent to fraction. Okay, so it's just practice. Uh, if you don't understand them, send me an email and I can go back over it with you, okay? Um, the answers are there. Uh, so please don't look at the answers first because it just won't teach you anything. But they are there so that if you are getting frustrated and you're not sure if you're right or wrong, they're there for you to look at to see if you're going in the right direction or not. So that's the first one of them. And then the second one is just more of the same. OK, it looks like that. OK, so two similar uh, worksheets. Uh, Angelique had asked for a couple of worksheets to practice on. So that's what they are. And again, the answers are there. But please don't just go and look at the answers because you won't learn anything. OK, so that's the first part. So coming back to the lesson plan, um, this video here is another maths antics video about mixed numbers. So have a look at that. It's quite a long one. It's about 15 minutes long, but have a look at it. Um, and once you've looked at it, do the uh, this worksheet here, fractions underscore improper dot PDF. When you get these on email, guys, that's what I've named them as. When you get them in the envelope as a, um, a hard copy, that's not necessarily what they're called. So you'll need to open them up in your email and then go and check which one it is. So what one did I say that one was? Fractions improper. There it is, that one there. Okay. So that's what this one looks like. Okay. So what that's asking you to do is to convert that into a mixed number. So you'll be dividing the 51 by 9. Okay. You'll get 5 with uh, 6 nines left over. Six ninths can be simplified to two thirds. So I think the answer to that should be five and two thirds. Let's see. Yeah, five and two thirds. Okay, so that's the top half. So that's converting from an improper fraction to a mixed number. And uh, sorry, folks. 
sorry, uh, child interruption there. <laughs> okay, so top half is converting in proper fractions or top heavy fractions as we call them to mix numbers. And oh, sorry, the bottom part then is um, converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. So in this case, um, you've got four and seven tenths. Okay, so how many tenths are you going to have in four? Well, you're gonna have 10 tenths is one, another 10 tenths is two, another 10 tenths is three, another 10 tenths is four, plus the seven, so that's gonna be 47 over 10. You can do it that way, or you can just go, well, 10 by four is 40, plus the seven is 47. Okay, and the video, the Maths Antics video actually explains that quite well. So have a look at that and then give those a try. All right, so that is the fractions bit, I think. Um, oh, yes, there's a few other ones that I've sent on. Um, it says, you can also try the fractions underscore comparing PDF to practice equivalent fractions. Okay, equivalent fractions, if you remember, they're converting fractions to a different fraction, but of the same value where both fractions have the same denominator, bottom number. Okay, um, so that's fractions comparing. Let's take a quick look at that. Okay, so you're comparing this. So how do you know if one seventh is more or less than seven tenths? Well, what you need to do is get the bottom number to be the same. Okay, so you, you need to do an equivalent fraction. So definitely they'll both go into 70. Okay, you need to have your denominator, the bottom number the same. Okay, so one seventh would be the equivalent of 10 over 70, and seven tenths would be the equivalent of 49 over 70. So in this case, seven tenths is going to be greater than, okay, so it's going to have this sign here. Okay, remember the open end, whichever, sorry, the camera doesn't suit for this, um, with your, your V sign, where are we, there we go. The open end, the wide end, or the crocodile's mouth, that's the bigger bit, okay? So if this number is bigger than this number, you do it this way, if you can see the mouse. If this side was bigger than this side, you'd go the open side, facing the one seventh, okay? Um, it's those, okay? And again, like in most of these worksheets, all the answers are there, so if you need to go to the answers for reference, if you want to check your answers, by all means do, but don't just go and look at the answers and fill them in, because like we said earlier, it's not going to teach you anything. Um, so that's that one. And then for practice on converting fractions to percents. Okay, I've mentioned that already. I don't know why I've mentioned that twice. We mentioned that one back up at the beginning. Uh, percent underscore convert one and two, I think. All right. Um, aim two whoops, uh, was exponents continued. Okay, so... Um, the, in this one, he explains what the zero power is, okay? So it's a continuation from last week, and it talks about what zero powers are. Um, the practice exercises after the video are revision of the previous lessons, so you can just give those a try and apply what you've learned to the worksheets listed on the next page. Okay, now these worksheets get gradually more complicated as you progress through them. So I want you to follow the order and see how far you get, okay? We'll work through them over the next few weeks in the online classes, so if you ring in next week, we can go through them. Uh, I can't add, a, oh, sorry, I can't edit the files to rename them for you. So I've taken a picture of each of the top of each worksheet. So I want you to follow that order because we use bitmass, so brackets first, indices, which are your powers or your exponents, um, then division and multiplication, and then adding and subtracting. That's the order you deal with the expressions in, which we've covered a couple of times, um, but they do get continually uh, more difficult. So um, I'll also explain this in the instruction video that I sent to you, send you the link for, which is this video, which I'll send you the link for, and should make it easier for you to follow. And you can email me at any point, guys, don't be afraid to. So the first one is order of operations and the top uh, of the sheet looks like this. So it will be, um, let me just go to the right folder here for you. Order of operations, um, I think it's that one, no divide. All right, sorry, I just have to flick back. 40, yeah, that's it there, okay. 14 minus 12 multiplied by 19 plus two. So how do you work that out? And there's the other one that you can see on the top of the page. So there are probably 10 or 12, yeah, 10 on each page. And the answers, as I said, are there. So if you're struggling to figure out what to do, um, 
have a look at the answers that will help you. But remember, it's BITMAS. We've done it a number of times. We've mentioned it in the last few weeks. That's what guides you as to which part of these um, expressions you work out first. Okay, that's the first one. Uh, flicking back here, there's another one uh, which has these two as the two across the top. And it should be uh, divided with brackets. I think it should be this one. Nine minus four. Yep. Uh, this one should be, uh, sorry, let me double check. Yep. Yeah. That looks like the right one, so that's the next one. So, and so on, okay? Um, double check that one. Yeah, plus 43 minus two, plus two, plus three. Yeah, so that's the second one. The third one, so you see, um, the first one just had no division. This one has brackets. There probably is some division in there. No divide with brackets. Okay, yeah, no division there, but it has brackets. And then the next one is going to be no division with brackets and exponents. So here we go, there's um, brackets and exponents on that one. So is that the same one that I have listed? It is indeed, that's the third sheet that you do. Um, and then you move on and you're going to get some uh, width, uh, no divide. None of these have any division, it's just multiplication in them, okay? And you have nested brackets, so you have brackets within brackets, that's what that means, okay? And the last one will be uh, this one here. Nested brackets and exponents. So you have brackets within brackets and exponents, all right? So have a go at those. If you're flying through them, uh, keep going, do them all. If you're struggling, let me know where you're struggling and we can come back to it, all right? So that's what's in this lesson plan. Uh, I have also... Bottom there, am I? Yeah, okay, that's all that's in that lesson plan. So you'll have that lesson plan on the post, you'll have all the worksheets, and uh, I've also uh, asked the guys to send on a couple of other worksheets. Um, let me just check the name of them for you, and we can go through those back in a second. Okay, back again. Uh, so I've sent you three other worksheets as well. There, this is one of them, okay, converting decimal and binary numbers. You'll also have one called converting decimal and octal numbers and converting decimal and hexadecimal numbers. They are for next week. Don't worry about those yet. I just wanted to get them sent out to you because I knew we'd be covering them. Um, I will record a video and we'll do a lesson on that next week. It's uh, something we have looked at before briefly, but you will need a bit of help on it. It's um, kind of a new concept for people really when they come into level three. Um, so you have those worksheets there, don't worry about them yet. Um, they are aimed at a specific part of the portfolio, which I'll show you here. So here's your bod mass or bid mass as we call it. Um, and your order of operations questions, okay? This is what you've been doing so far. You won't have a problem with these. Um, so I will get the portfolio worksheet sent out to you over, you know, not in the next week or two, but uh, probably after midterm. So you can continue to work on this stuff. Um, and there's quite a number of worksheets in there. Um, a lot of the stuff we have done before, but what I am looking for, if I can find it, that's not it. Give me one second and I'll find it for you. That's part of it, but there's another part that I want to look at. Okay, back again. Sorry. So it is to address assignment brief 1.3, okay? And this talks about the concept of number bases and their application in daily life. So that's what those last three worksheets are for. Don't worry about them yet. We haven't covered it particularly. So I will do some work on that with you to explain what they are. Um, it's an interesting topic. It actually talks about the history of numbers and so on, but it does take a little bit of explanation the first time you see it. So please don't worry about those worksheets just yet. Okay. Uh, hopefully get to talk to some of you next week. Um, give me an email at any stage for anything that you need help on and uh, I'll send you the link to this video and uh, any of the outstanding worksheets that you don't already have, but they are all in the post for you as well. All right. Talk soon. Bye.